Flyweights take center stage this weekend as Tatsuro Tyra and Alex Perez main event while Joshua Van and Tagir Ulanbekov are also on the card. Today I'm going to be talking about those two fights and giving predictions for both. So stick around to hear my thoughts. I'm Wyatt and this is Fight Society. All right, guys, so we have Tatsuro Taira, upcoming flyweight prospect, going up against veteran, former title challenger, and Alex Perez. Good matchup. It was not the original main event. The original main event was going to be Alex Perez and Tagir Ulanbekov, with Taira going up against Joshua Van on the same card. They have decided to break up these fights and rearrange them even though they're all still on the same card. So now we have Perez and Tyra in the main event, and then on the same card, you have Ulan Bekov against Joshua Van. I like this a lot better now because you have established veteran Alex Perez going up against upcoming prospect, now ranked, Tatsuo Tyra, and he's getting his test. A win here will get him into the top five and probably be one win from a title shot. Whereas you have, originally, you had Van and Tyra fighting each other, which I didn't like having two prospects going up against each other, two promising prospects going up against each other so early in their careers. I'm sure that they're going to end up fighting potentially for a title someday. That would be fun. But I do like that they broke up that fight, even though it's a little unconventional. I do like that they broke up that fight. I think it was the right move. I think that Perez and Tyra is a good matchup. You have Perez coming off of his knockout win over Matus Nicolau. And you have Tyra coming off of a second round win over Carlos Hernandez in December. He has had two canceled fights already this year, though. And this was, you know, shout out to him. He's tough, steps up on very short notice even though he was already preparing for a fight he wasn't necessarily preparing for a main event he wasn't preparing for alex perez he was originally booked against tim elliott in may that one fell out then he got booked against joshua van it was going to be on ufc 302 and it got pushed back to this event two weeks later it is still supposed to be against Joshua Van. Then they break that fight up and he takes on Alex Perez. So he's not fighting an up-and-coming prospect. He's fighting a former title challenger now who is coming off of a main event knockout win. And Alex Perez did just fight Mohamed Makayev a few months ago. So Tatsuro Taira, being the heavy grappler that he is, Alex Perez just fought a heavy grappler in Mohamed Makayev recently. And shout out to Alex Perez being inactive for the better part of about three and a half or four years and now he has three fights in about four months so he's active he's he is more experienced he's active he's fought higher level competition than tatsuo tyra and he also is ready for a grappler given that he just fought and had a very competitive decision loss to muhammad makayev i personally think that Tatsuro Taira does not want to stand with Perez given that he's coming off of this knockout win. Flyweight is exciting, guys, and Pantoja is a champ. I don't think the UFC wants him to be champ, to be honest. I think they want to get one of these prospects up there. They obviously want Brandon Moreno to be champ because of how big of a star he is for the lower weight classes, but he's taking a hiatus. Who knows how long he's going to be out for? So we need some new fresh blood in the title talk. They just did it with Steve Ursig. I could see the winner of this fight fighting Pantoja later this year, or maybe it's the winner of Mohamed Makayev and Manel Kopp at UFC 304. 125 is as exciting as it's been in a long time. I actually like the way that it's looking right now with these prospects more than I did with the Brandon Moreno, Div Davis and Figueredo quadrilogy. In terms of this fight, I think that Tyra is a little bit outmatched on the feet and he's not as active in the last six or so months, but he did fight in December. So he is relatively active. He is younger. And I think, given that Perez did lose a decision to a heavy grappler, I am going to go with Tatsuro Taira to beat Alex Perez this weekend, I think by decision, and then move on and become a top five flyweight. We move on to the other fight that I mentioned on the card. You have Joshua Van and Tagir Ulanbekov. And this is a fun fight, Tagir Ulanbekov. I mean, inbred as hell, but Jesus Christ. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that. But Joshua Van, very exciting prospect, likes to strike. As long as he can keep this on the feet, I think he's going to succeed in this fight, become a ranked flyweight. 
And my official prediction for that fight is that Joshua Van is going to win by TKO in the second round. So those are my predictions for those two fights. I have Joshua Van by TKO and I have Tyra by decision. Maybe a submission, but I think it's going to be by a decision. I think it's going to be a grinded out, boring decision. Maybe he ends up taking the back after grinding out Alex Perez for two or three rounds, wearing him out, and Alex Perez gives his back looking for a way out due to how tired he is. But my official prediction for this fight is Tyra by decision and Van by TKO. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts on the card and drop your predictions in the comments down below. See ya. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want access to extra content aside from my regular videos, click the link in the description down below to become a channel member and get access to members only live streams and other bonus perks. Or click the join button on our channel homepage. And if you're interested in some non-MMA content from me, check out my weekly podcast, The Hissy Fit Podcast, and check out my personal channel, Wyatt's World. I'll have them both linked in the description down below. Go watch this suggested video and I'll see you next time.